Hey guys, welcome to a new video. In today's video, we're going to look at a lead code problem and the problem's name is insert greatest common divisors in linked list. In this question, we're given the head of a linked list in which each node contains an integer value. Between every pair of adjacent nodes, insert a new node with a value equal to the greatest common divisors of the two nodes. A task is to return the linked list after these insertions. And by definition, GCD of two numbers is the largest positive integer that evenly divides both the numbers. So in this question, as you can see, we're given the head of linked list and these are the two adjacent nodes, 18 and 6, and the GCD of these two numbers is 6. So you insert 6 between these two nodes. Then you go to the next pair of adjacent nodes, 6 and 10. The greatest common divisor of 6 and 10 is 2. So you insert 2 between 6 and 10. The final pair inside this head of linked list is 10 and 3. And the greatest common divisor between 10 and 3 is 1. So you insert one as you came across all the pairs inside the head of the linked list and you have your final output. So you return this linked list after these insertions as the output. So I've taken the same example given to us. We are given the head of a linked list. Now we have to find the GCD of the pair of numbers. So initially the head is here. Now we take the pair. So this is the pair of linked list. We have to find the GCD of. So GCD of 18 comma 6. So we create a node 6. So 6 is here. So how are you taking the pairs? You take two nodes. So node 1 is here and this is node 2. So node 1.next should point to this new node which we created. So this will be deleted. And this node, GCT node, will point to node 2. And now we have to move this node 1 to node where node 2 is to process the next pair. So this will become node 1. And node 2 will be, node 2 was here. It will be node2.next, so node2 will move here. And now again we find the GCD of node1 and node2. GCD of node1 is 6, node2 is 10, and GCD is 2. So we create a new node and place it here. And node1.next will point to this GCD node. And GCD.next will point to node2. And now we have to move the pointers. Node1 will move to where node2 is. And node2 will move to node2.next, which is here. So node 2 is here now and node 1 is here now. Again find the GCD of node 1 comma node 2 values. So 10 comma 3 GCD is 1. The new node is created 1. So node 1 dot next point to GCD node and this GCD dot next will point to node 2 and we move the pointers. So this will become node 1 and this will become node 2. As soon as node 2 points to null, here you can see node 2 is pointing to null. We end the iteration and whatever is present at head will be the output. So the overall output is matching here. 18, 6, 6, 2, 10, 1, 3, which is the expected output. Now let's take a look at the Java program. Coming to the function given to us, this is a function name. We're given the head of a linked list and we have to return the linked list after insertion. Now coming to the second example here, there is only one node inside this linked list and you return that because there is no pair of nodes where you find the GCD of those two pairs, those two numbers in the pair. So whenever there is one node inside the linked list, you return that as the output. So let's write this base case here. So if the linked list head contains only one node, you can check that by seeing if head.next is equal to null. It means there is only one node. If there is only one node, return that as the... So you return head. Now let's do what they are asking us to do. We have to take a pair of nodes. Let's start with this pair. We need access to this node and we need access to this node. So let's create two nodes. So node 1 is equal to head and the second node node 2 is equal to head dot next. Now we have to find the GCD of these two nodes. So I write a private helper function which will return an integer representing the GCD. So I'm going to name it GCD which takes in two numbers A and B. So to find GCD you can run a while loop until B is not equal to zero. It means the second number is not equal to 0. And then you store this b inside a temporary variable. So in temp is equal to b. And now you decrease b by finding the mod of a and b. So b is equal to a mod b. Now you store temp in a. And this will happen until you find the gcd. And whatever the gcd is will be present inside a. Because you reduced b to 0. So a should have the gcd. So return a. Now we have this helper function which we can use on these two nodes. Now node 1 is here and node 2 is here and we are iterating. As node 2 is in front of node 1, you can check until node 2 reaches null, that is the end. You can keep iterating. So using a while loop until node 2 is equal to null. Until node 2 is not equal to null, we we'll keep on iterating. 
Now let's find the GCD of these two numbers, node 1 and node 2. And I'll store that inside a integer variable called GCD value. And now let's calculate GCD by calling this helper function, which is going to take two integer variables. But we have the node values, node 1 and node 2. So we need the values of those nodes. So node 1 dot val will be the first parameter and node 2 dot val will be the second parameter. Now we have the GCD value. We have to convert this integer into a list node. So I create a new node, name it GCD node, new list node. We are creating a new node. And this new node is going to have the value which we calculated here, GCD value. Now we have the node. Now here as you can see, we have the new node 6. So we have node 1 here and node 2 is here. So node1.next will point to GCD node. So node1.next is equal to GCD node and gcd node will point to node 2 so gcd dot next is equal to node 2 and now this will become node 1 and this will become node 2 node 2 is already here so node 1 is equal to node 2 and we move node 2 to the next node so node 2 is equal to node 2 dot next now this while loop will iterate until node 2 reaches null and we processed all the pairs and now we have your final answer and your final answer you can return head because head is starting here which is not moving so return head now let's try to run the code the test case are being accepted let's submit the code and the solution is accepted so the time complexity of this approach is big of n into log of min of a and b so big of n because we are iterating through all the nodes inside this linked list and to find the gcd the time complexity is log of min of a comma b and the space complexity is constant big of 1 because we are not using an extra space to solve this question. That's it guys. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video.